little different to unbox this go round. Um, not sun gear like it usually is, but if you can see here from the documentation, uh, this is going to be related to a PDP-8. So based on the Harris Intersil 6120, uh, kind of PDP-8 on a chip, uh, Andrew Bingham has made a new run of an updated board. He's actually updated the design of the board of Spare Time Gizmo's old SBC 6120. So a single board computer based on the, again, 6120 CPU, PDP-8 on a chip. And we've got some, uh, some stuff here to take a look at. Uh, I better be a little bit more ginger with the, uh, the PCB here. But this is something I, I put myself on a list thinking, oh, is it going to happen? And it happened. So I'm pretty excited. We'll be doing more videos about this as it gets put together. Here is the board. And uh, Andrew updated it from a four layer to a two, a two layer board. There's the back side. Nice looking PCB. Uh, obviously it's uh, unassembled but that's part of the fun in a case like this. And it looks like we're gonna have a place for a 6120, so the CPU, a UART, I think that's a UART, or IO controller. We've got our EPROMs. We have the 6402, probably some additional uh, part of the, H the Intercell Harris chipset. Uh, mentioned the ROMs. Uh, it actually uses, I think, GALs, uh, which are updated from PALS as programmable logic here. We have a set of three. And we'll take a look. Uh, get some documentation on CD. Look a look at the hard to find IC kit that it comes with. So these are our ROMs, high and low. So we have two. Those are probably E squared PROMs. Uh, and that other bit of the Harris chipset. This is probably the hardest to find, although I do have another one of them. Uh, I haven't tested it to work. This is the uh, 6120 itself. And again, this is a PDP-8 on a chip, more or less. Um, and what uh, the original fellow over at Spare Time Gizmos has done is managed to make it so... The actual computers made some word processors and things based on the, the Harris 6100 series that couldn't run necessarily all PDP-8 software, you know, differences in how they, slight differences in how they work. Uh, but due to the design of this uh, single board computer, you can actually, I believe, run things like OS8, you can run Focal 69, and here are the programmable logic chips uh, programmed. So I'll probably use my, my EEPROM uh, reader to read off. Uh, the ROMs is maybe some interesting stuff to look at. Um, at this point, there will be more videos. I'm probably not going to do a video of constructing it. One, I don't have a way to mount a camera uh, securely. And two, watching people solder is probably the equivalent of paint drying. But once we get it up and running, I'll probably look at some of the additional components that go in here. Uh, and then obviously once we get it up and running, we can connect to it over a serial line and start to have a little fun playing with some software. Uh, as always, my glamorous wife is doing the camera work for, for these videos, and uh, until next time, thanks.